Hey there, my name's Adrian and I write custom web scrapers or bots for county websites. And a little bit more about me. So I'm a software engineer with five years of experience. Recently sold a small website called lemondrops.io, which scraped Lululemon and then alerted users of items when they were back in stock. And I've also scraped Zillow, Facebook ads, LA and King County, as well as many more counties and websites. And I run the, the web scraping guy, which is a web scraping agency primarily focused on scraping county websites. And what is web scraping? It's just getting the data that's on a website and extracting that and making it easier for you to use. Usually that's me sending you a CSV of the data, but it just prevents you from having to go to the website. I just collect the data automatically instead of you having to manually do it or hire a VA to manually do it for you. And what can I scrape? Basically anything on the internet, in this case, county websites. If it's on the county website, then there's a pretty good shot that I can scrape it, almost 100% uh, shot that I can scrape it, even if it's behind a login. And as well as PDFs, if you need text from the PDF or if you need to extract specific pieces of a PDF, like the lease amount, the names on a lease, or the name on a deed, then I can scrape that for you as well. And I can also perform skip tracing. So that includes finding emails and phone numbers for people. If you, I'll tell you the services that I use, but if you have providers that you like to use, then obviously I'm open to using uh, whatever for that. And so why I'm better and faster than other web scrapers, one, my experience too, I use APIs. So it's a little bit technical, but a lot of other web scrapers will use browser automated automation which just takes a lot longer, is more prone to break, and it's just more maintenance over time because if the website changes, then they need to go in and fix that, whereas the, the APIs will rarely change. And I wrote a Twitter thread on this. It's pretty technical, but if you want to check it out, read that, then go ahead and do so. And a little example here, a couple examples. So we're gonna start with, so this is King County, Washington. So we are going to look for deeds with the name of Smith. So select deeds and we're going to look for a month or all the deeds that have been like filed within a month. So it's processing right now. And I created the same thing. So this is an example of uh, it being scraped the King County website being scraped. So if we have the same search terms here, so for deed and for Smith, and then I automatically, instead of you choosing the dates, then it just goes a month back since it's just for a test. And it takes a little bit of time. As you can see here, the original deed isn't even, or the original query from King County hasn't even been returned yet. So we'll give that a minute. So we get back two deeds, Smith Family Trust, and then Ruth Smith. Okay, and so we get back results here. So it looks like we get two results. And Smith Family Trust, which is that one. And Ruth Smith, yeah, which is the second one, Men Montalo Melissa is the grantee. And yeah, same thing there. So that's just an example where, yeah, you scrape, you don't have to go through the actual King County website that I can just scrape it for you and then return this as a CSV or whatever you'd like. So the other example is LA County. So if you have a parcel number and you're searching for that and you want to get yeah, the information about that parcel. So I have an example here. So if we search this, then we have this summary. So the AIN, which is the parcel number. And then this is the address. Yeah, all this type of information, assessment value, yada, yada, all of that. So I have this example on my website. So you can enter a parcel number and then get back the data here. So we can see the address is the same, 8412 
Fallbrook, Los Angeles, single family residence, all that good stuff, subparts. Yeah, and I'm just using the same API that they that they use themselves. So if you come here, this is a little bit technical, but just to demonstrate what's going on, what I'm doing, then they return the data right here in these APIs. So they make these calls. And so I'm just accessing the same exact thing that they're using as well. So that's how we get the data faster and more accurate. You get that JSON as well. And that's it. So looking forward to working with you and please book a call and we'll talk about frequency of how often you want the scraper to run and what you want to scrape. So thanks.